everybody welcome back or welcome to something old something new car reps i'm lance today it's friday so we're doing our friday football flashback we're doing our repacked wax of vintage football cars we're doing a stack of each of these each one of these there's 36 packs so stack of nine each time we did a stack last time seeing if i get any better recognized in the years uh, i didn't get any comments saying i missed any of the hall of famers last time so i don't know if you guys are just being nice or if i actually did not miss any hall of famers or if i just didn't get very many hall of famers period in that first stack <laughs> so uh, we get to get a bunch of Joe Montana's. Got a damn Marina from '84. Just the uh, I think it was the end in action one. And what else did we get? We got a 1958 Topps car. That was pretty cool. Can't remember who it was. Browns guy. Let's go ahead. So we got our next stack there. Looking for some of those old cars. Hopefully we get some 1962 Topps. I really like the look of 62 Topps. Hopefully we get some Philadelphia as well. Just because I don't have any. I'd like to see one of those. Hopefully I would recognize it. So you get these, uh, what it is, they, if you're new to this, you didn't watch the last episode, if you haven't seen Repacked Wax, he takes a bunch of stuff, breaks sets, he breaks cards, he buys singles, whatever, and he just jumbles them all up together. They hand they hand pack these We're using uh, the old wax paper. They use a little hobby iron, a little wax, and he puts a sticker on each side so you don't get the wax on there. So you see there's a bunch of wax on that side, and that side's free of wax. So let's get started. I'm going to score Reggie, Reggie, 90 score Reggie Rimbert. Don't remember him. There's a Rod Woodson. Lions Douglas English NFC All Pro. That's kind of cool looking card. It's got some good color to it. Some of these cards are not going to be in great condition. Some are going to be in pretty good condition. I mean, just depends on where he gets them from. Nelson in motion. There's a Dan Neal. Is that 73? 79, way off. Eric Curie, Stadium Club. I really like the Stadium Club. How it has got the card on the back or the. I guess the baseball one's only on. There's another Barry Sanders. We got a Barry Sanders in the first stack. It's one of the Fleer medals, I think. There's a Playoff Prestige 2000. That's a sweet card. We'll put that up top. Our first Hall of Famer that I recognized, Hanford Dixon. There's a Mark Clayton. One of the Marks, Mark Clayton, Mark Duper. 90 Fleer. A lot of people really like 90 Fleer. A few couple people commented on that last time, 90 Fleer. Steve Smith. And Steve McNair, Upper Deck Vintage. I really like these Upper Deck Vintage cards. It's pretty sweet looking. We'll go ahead and put that on top for now. Hopefully we get something to replace it with. Said hopefully we get some older cards. So far it's been a lot of the newer stuff. Not as much older stuff as I would like to see. There's a Brian Braid. Neil Anderson. There's a Brian Bashnagel, wide receiver. It's kind of cool, those old cards like that. 1980 tops, only 12 catches, 260 yards. Vincent Brisby from Select. Keith Byers. Troy Archer from 79. Brent Williams, Swain Corbett. There's a Marshall Falk, Fleer Metal. So far, these shinier cards have been pretty good to us. James Jett, Impact Skybox. Rob Carpenter, rookie from Upper Deck. There's a Jay Rice, Rookies and Stars from 2004, it looks like. Yeah. That's a pretty cool looking card. Ron Heller and Vance Mueller. I'm not sure if that was his last card. Being a rookie, didn't even realize Rookies and Stars goes back that far. Sticker, sticker, upper deck. I really like the upper deck. They look like the Stadium Club 95 upper deck. Oilers team car, Reggie Brooks, Ricky Cessations. There's a Alvin Wright. There's a Gronkowski. That's a cool looking card. 2015 score. Some kind of, I think that's some kind of parallel edition. There's an 85 tops receiving letters. Our Monk and Ozzy Newsom. Ozzie Newsom led the well, tight end led the league in receptions that year. That's a sweet card. I like that card. Paul Gruber. There's a boomer. Jesse Hester. Mike Munchak and a Ted Washington. So nothing nothing pre seventy yet. Kind of, let's see what was our oldest card we got was the uh seventy nine, I guess. I don't think I've seen anything older than that yet. 
Don't think I've missed any Hall of Famers as well. Let me know if I do. Bubba McDowell. Jeff Comolo. Looks kind of lost there. James Francis. There's a Jack Ham. That's a sweet looking card. Put that down there. Don Warren. Troy Aikman. Tools of the Trade. It's a Topps card. 1994. Tools of the Trade. Steve Atman. Members Choice Stadium Club. Not sure if those member choice cards are as were rare as rare back then as they are today. Those are like the case hit or something like that today. Pisto Janovic, Damian Gibson, Ryan Grant, Jimmy Jones. Looks like we're half about halfway through the pack stack this week. Looks like something cool on the back there. Christian Okoya. There's a baseball card. Roy White. Ted Brown. Marshall Falk rookie card. That's a nice one. Fleer Ultra. Actually looks to be in really good shape too. Is that on the card? Put that in front of the other Marshall Falk. Nick Lowry. Tony Hill. It's a 82... 83. Bob Perryman, Alex Smith, Tops DPP. It's kind of cool looking. Patrick Ramsey, Tops Finest. I like these Tops Finest cards. Hard to read a little bit. Marcus Robinson, Oilers card. No, Gary Brown. McNeil Powers Ford, Jets, yellow card, 86. And a Gus Ferrat from Topps Heritage. Four packs left. Still haven't got anything pre-70s. We haven't got anything pre-79, I don't think. This pack is waxy. It's a waxy wax pack. Alfred Williams, Upper Deck, Tim Brown, Al Edwards, Malcolm Butler, there's a newer card, Van Williams, Tony Page, Matt Robinson, Mel Owens, this is not a, not a very good pack, that pack, not much to see in there, Sean Gilbert, three packs left, let's hope the Hope we got all the bad pulls out of that pack and double up on the rest of these packs. This one's really waxy too. Percy Snow, Rob Moore, again, Gary Weaver, Dave Klingler, remember him being a Brett Favre flashback. There's a Ron Dane Tops Heritage. There's a Dan Marino. We'll take a Dan Marino. Let's see who we got up there. Jerry Rice, Gronkowski, in front of Steve McNair. Scott Davis, Quandre Ismail. Two packs left. Still haven't got anything really vintage-y. Or, I guess the 79 is considered vintage. Here we go. Pack number, second to last pack. There you go. Fred Cards thinking 76. Tops. That's a cool card. It's got a nice color on it, too. I don't know if you can really tell that, but there's the back of that. That is a very nice looking card. Fran Tarkenton. I'm sure what that is. If you know what this is, let me know. It's got to be some kind of reprint because it's in beautiful shape. There's a Jerry, another Jerry Rice. Lester Hayes, Richard Dent, Chris Dolman, Kevin Green, that's a good, cool looking card, and a Dante Hall. I'm not sure if Richard Dent's in the Hall of Fame or not. Alexa, is Richard Dent in the Football Hall of Fame? 
found on the web, according to Custodes.com. Former Tennessee State University defensive end, Richard Dent, has been voted for induction into the National Football League's Hall of Fame for 2011. There you go. He was in football. That was James Lofton. That's a cool looking card. 83 tops. Jim Mandich, tight end. 76, another 76 tops card. Also a nice color. Except for this corner's a little dinged up, but that's a nice card. There's a Brian Greasy rookie. He had some good seasons. There's another Barry Sanders. 90 Fleer. Chris Mims. Charlie Johnson. Ryan Leaf, oh, Greg Bale, Greg Bale. There's a Bruce Smith from Pro Set. Just read that uh, Leaf is coming out with Pro Set again. There's actually a Trevor Lawrence Pro Set card you can get on their website right now. Michael Irvin, Bubba Franks from Topps Heritage is a thick card. It's pretty cool looking. And our last sticker. So there we go. She move this back here. Put that back as the front. Maybe move this Jerry Rice around. Let's see. I'm not even sure what that is, so like I said, let me know in the comments below if you know what this is. Look, you gotta have Jack Ham up there. T, we'll go ahead and stick with that. There you go, those are my top five. Let me know if you agree. Let me know if I missed any Hall of Famers. As always, thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time.